we had a couple friends that shared a little secret with us that at least we didn't know. It was a secret to us, and so we feel a lot of people may not know about it. So if you have a family or you're wanting to go to Disney, and we know how expensive tickets are to go to Disney World, different things you do at Disney World, this is one way that you can get to see a lot of Disney World without paying a single penny. For free! For what? free, unless you eat. Okay. So the first step that you do is you come down to Disney Springs and you park in the orange garage. They have different garage colors, orange and lime, and orange is where you need to be to start this. We always like to park at the top level on level five. It usually has more parking spaces available. We got ours in the corner here backed up, so we're out of the way. I'm excited. I am made to be free. Empty out everything in your pockets in this thing and I'm gonna want you for a Okay. Once you get off the, of the stairs here at the Orange Garage, you take a right and you come right over here, and this is where your shuttles will be. So you have your free parking here at Disney Springs, and you get on all these free shuttles. You can do, oh, you can just wait. So when you come here and you wanna know which place you wanna go first, they all have your directory here, and that'll tell you what bus that you wanna take to go where. So our tour guides here tells us, once you get off the bus here, you have to take another bus to go through the campgrounds, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to take another bus to go through the campgrounds. Otherwise, you'd just be getting on the bus again and leaving and going somewhere else. Come in on one end of the campground here, and the bus will take you through the campground, and you go to the other end of the campground. I guess it's huge. And then you get on a boat there, right? Right. And then you take the boat to... The Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge, and then from there you just keep moving all over the yeah. properties. Now we're waiting for the campground bus to take us through the campground. This campground is so big that people will bring their golf carts. That's why all these golf carts are here. Bring their golf carts here and leave them there, and then take the shuttles to all the Disney properties. sign here and then you go straight down here and we're gonna get on the boat to go further you can still go into the restaurants and the shops uh, so now we're gonna get ready to get on the boats and as you can see people from the campground take their golf carts and I'm park them over here to get on the boat. Normally, on the right-hand side here, there's another boat shuttle that takes you to the lodge and the contemporary, and then you can, from there, you can go a different route. Now all they have is the one that goes to the Magic Kingdom. So it's gonna take us a little different route. Just hang in there and we'll still get everywhere. Disneyland. Disney World. Disney. Disney World. 
Magic Kingdom, but we just can't go in. So when's the last time you have been to the Magic Kingdom? I was a senior in high school, so, you know, it's been a few oh, wow. years. Yeah. Anything, well, the outside look familiar? Probably <laughs> didn't even come in on this side. No, I didn't come in on a boat. Because it don't look familiar for me either, and it was pretty much about the same time period. Now that we've came through and came through security, here, you can turn around and go to Disney's Wilderness Lodge right here. The boat that we're going to be waiting on is a yellow one, and if you have any questions and you're not quite sure, just ask the <laughs> security people, and they'll tell you where to go. In a nice way, where, you know, as far as, not, not where you can go, but you know what I mean, where you go. So as you can see behind us, they're having their 50th anniversary, 50th mm -hmm. celebration here. Yeah. You can get up here close and another little tip. You've got the people taking pictures. Of course, they want to sell you the pictures, but all you have to do is give them your phone and they'll be more than happy to take a picture for you. Then you can pretend like you went into Disney. <laughs> like we are. Right here in the same line, we went out and back in and we're gonna get on a boat. I believe it's a yellow boat that goes to the lodge. And I think we're gonna eat over there and take a look at this lodge. It's supposed to be built really nice. And then we come back over here and then get on the monorail, which is right over there. If you don't wanna to go to the lodge, you just go right over to the monorail there to continue. Just missed getting into the lodge restaurant. Is it this way? It's 2.07 yeah. and it closed at 2 and they reopen at 5. So now we gotta find somewhere else to eat. Now we're gonna get on the boat to go back to Magic Kingdom so we can get on the monorail. <laughs> and the boat's loading. <laughs> Go, go, go. Can't take it slow, make sure we do this right. So where are we going next? We're going to the contemporary Polynesian and Floridian. And Floridian. What's oh, this? All the way down, folks. We're on the platform filled with all empty space. Do not so stop. In the just sit with me, talking to the night and to the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be We're now at the Polynesian Village Resort. Yep. Got Come in it. and check it out. All right. All right. All right. Okay. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. We're going to have our first Dole Whip. We don't them. get out much. We got a photo bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that crazy lady? I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't know her. This Hurry up. is the Dole Whip. What kind? Um, pineapple vanilla swirl. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, but they cheated us. Look at that hole right there. <laughs> How do you guys like yours? It's Excellent. delicious. It's really good. Yeah, always yeah. wanted to try. One in ten, what would you give it? I'd say it's worth the nine. Yeah. Good. It's very good. Though I've never had one before, but it's really good, so I have to give it a nine. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free Won't you come and breathe the 
Open skies Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Time to live it live Get away from the deuce and oh. A, a resemblance. No. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to the side. Turn. To the side. Do something. We ain't turning to the side. <laughs> Grand Floridian, and you're thinking about getting married here, you can check it out and see what it looks like. Might be a few of these though. coming back for day two. All right, so once again, coming down the escalators there and you just take an immediate ride. You got your Coca-Cola and Planet Hollywood over there. Go straight over here. You can take a bus to any of the properties that you want to and start from there. Now we recommend at least two days so that you yeah. can enjoy looking at all the different properties. Because it does take quite a while. Wow. Yeah, the Skyliner, what we call the ski lift. At the state fair, we usually have to pay something just to ride it one way up the hill <laughs> but it, it's really neat seeing all these different properties we got on the bus from disney springs to go to the caribbean resort stopped at the jamaica stop along the way that bus going to um, the caribbean resort has multiple stops anytime that you have any questions again just to ask one of the guys standing around the bus drivers they can always tell you if you're getting on the wrong bus They'll tell you exactly where you need to go. We had to walk from that bus stop around, there's a fence here, to come back around to get here. This one here goes to the Riviera and Epcot. This one here goes to Hollywood Studios. And this goes to Art of Animation Resort and Pop Century Resort. I want somebody to hold my hand, cause I I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. So now we're at Hollywood Studios, and keep in mind, some of the places that you come to, there's only so much that you can see. Like here, for instance, you got the entrance of Hollywood Studios, 
got a boat that you can take somewhere. We're going to go over there and look and see where that takes you. Then the Skyliner was here where we are. We just got off of, but we can take that back to where we were and that can go multiple places. This boat will take you to the Swan and Dolphin Hotel, Yacht Club, Beach Club, Boardwalk, Epcot International Gateway. But I just end up looking like a showcase I have in myself to blame. I'm about buying a belt full of watches. But my wife said, no, that would be a waste of time. Go this way to the swan or this way to the dolphin and then get back on the boat if you want or walk down to the swan, take a left, go across the bridge over to the boardwalk. We have restaurants, shops, uh, fun little place to go as well. This is the boardwalk so you can go here but you can also walk all the way to Epcot if you want or back to Hollywood Studios. Inside the dolphin. Something else to remember when you come to these places, you can still, at the resorts, you can get a drink at the bar, at the pool, you can eat at their restaurants and sit down there and have a drink and just kind of enjoy the atmosphere. These are all things that is included in your hotel stay, the price that you're paying if you do stay here. So you're getting all of those things at least to enjoy them and take it in, take in the, the surroundings for free. I'd recommend everybody to do this. At least once. At least just, once, yeah. And just to take it all in. It, you, you've got to be curious. If you haven't been here before, what all the resorts are like. And even if you have, you're usually only coming to one resort. So take it in. Kind of. The only thing, again, you're not going to see is you're not going to see the insides of the rooms that you stay at or inside the Disney parks that you have the rides. But you do get to see everything else. And along the way, if you do decide to, you can stop and splurge and go into one of the parks yeah. or something. <laughs> and you might find some good treats, right, Michelle? Like ice cream mm -hmm. or donuts or, <laughs> <laughs> or some good food. Something more healthy. Just something we need to work on. back outside of the swan and the dolphin we're kind of right in the middle and we're gonna go across this bridge and head over to the boardwalk a little different than all the rest a quite old-fashioned wear a hat sometimes play chess and when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage Just so you know, if you're 
gluten-free, you can get a gluten-free pizza here. We have not tried it, so couldn't tell you if it's any good or not. And they said it takes a longer to do the gluten-free ones. They have to do it in a separate area. I think it was on the other side of town or something. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. She said 30 minutes extra. But yeah. Anyway. This one here on the right side will go to Epcot. And these will go to the Yacht Club, Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin Hotel, Disney Hollywood Studios. Oh yes, and as of now, December 2021, the drink cost for that was like $13 and something. So that's before tip, of course. It was small. It does. They got these little louvers up here all the way around. So the air circulates through like instant air conditioning. It's kind of warm today. Don't touch me. Especially when that <laughs> sun comes on. Comes on. Especially when they hit the button and turns the sun on, then it gets really hot. <laughs> now we're going to take the Skyliner and go over to Epcot and Disney's Riviera Resort. That's my choice, what I need to be free. Still thinking how we love should feel when I know that it's not about you, just me. So now we're down at Epcot. You can see when we were coming down the Skyliner, you can see a little bit of Epcot and some of the countries, I guess you call them. You can take the boat back to a lot of those places that we just came from or you can take the Skyliner back. Um, of course this is not a resort, this is one of the parks so we can't get in here unless we have tickets. But again, kind of gives you a little glimpse of it. I think I like the uh, going in the resorts the best. Yeah, I do too. Kind of get to see. Plus you can stop and have a drink. Yeah, or eat. <laughs> or eat. Have a good meal. Or... Yeah, we got to be thinking of where we're going to eat again. We do. Yes, we do. All right, well, let's move on. Gosh, there, I think you need three days to hit all these <laughs> places, really, because uh, I don't think we're going to make them all, but you get the gist anyway. Yeah. Well, we took the bus back down to Disney Springs. As you can tell, you can just keep going from one place to the other and uh, two days, and it's going to be getting dark here real shortly. We're just not going to have enough time to even get every place in two days. Yeah. But at least you get the gist of it and you know what you can do now. And put your walking shoes on because unless you want to stay on the transportation and never get off, you do a lot of walking, so it's a good exercise. We're going to try Planet Hollywood. Our friends Mike and Bernie said this place was really good, so we're going to give it a shot.
Look how pretty it looks. And of course, what I do, I got another burger. It's a Kobe beef burger with a gluten-free bun. Yeah, I would rate it at eight and a half, I think. It, it was worth it. There's a lot here. I had one bite of the burger already. It's really good. Eight and a half. It's really good. Thank goodness it gets dark quick this it time does. of the I year. I don't like this time of year. Uh, but this is one of our favorite places. We always like to go at the free entertainment here at Disney Springs. And one of our favorite... He's the guitarist. Nicholas Marks.